for somebody just going into prison, it's natural to be worried, but don't worry too much. You, when you get there, you're going to find that it's not as bad as you think it is. You're going to find people who are just like you, doing the same amount of time, a lot of them from the same area of the country that you're from. Anyone going into prison can do their time and be left alone if they just say when they first get there, look, I'm here, I'm not part of a gang, I, uh, I've got all this time to do, and I'm going to be busy fighting my case in the courts or improving myself, I'm going to exercise, I'm going to go to school, get my GED, whatever. You can take college classes and you can be an independent. Yeah, you don't want to trust anybody. You'll be very disappointed. Uh, you don't owe anybody money. Just do your own thing and time will go by and eventually you will get out. In the old days, I would argue politics and religion and it just causes conflict and you get to where you hate that other person. He hates you. My advice is don't even discuss politics or religion. Uh, don't argue with anybody. If somebody has an opposite opinion, um, even though you might have the facts that show some scientific proof that what you believe is true, just let them have their opinion. Just let it go. Just say to yourself, oh, what a dumbass. You know, keep it to yourself. And uh, just what I do is, yep, yeah, okay, you're right, whatever, and turn and walk away. Avoid the conflict. Avoid the arguments. It'll make your time go much easier. There's a lot less violence in prisons than people think, especially family members, people on the street. Uh, if you look at the statistics, you'll, that'll play out. People usually don't get hurt unless they do something really stupid. They owe somebody money, they don't pay it, or they, somebody finds out something about their past. People settle conflict in prison the majority of time nonviolently. What you hear about on the news is a very small percentage of what goes on. If you get to prison and you want to fight your case and you can't afford an attorney on the street, there are a lot of people that work in the library who will help you. A large percentage of them don't know what they're doing, and they will take your money, a lot of it, and waste it. And sometimes they'll do more harm than good. You usually have one chance for a habeas corpus 2255 motion. That's after your sentence and your direct appeal is final. Uh, some people will ruin that for you. They'll file ridiculous things. The advice I can give you is that when you get there and you get a celly and you talk to people and you sit down at a table and you eat with some other people, talk and say, hey, who's actually good at law work? And they'll say, oh, this guy's good and that guy's good. Well, then find somebody who can say, yes, I saw him get so-and-so so many years off. Don't take, a, don't, don't take, oh, I heard he did this or I heard he did that. When you find someone that says, yes, I definitely know so-and-so who got time off, then you can listen to that person. There will be people there who will help you learn how to operate the computers and the books and, and, and do your research. And you'll find those people. And it's best to do your own research because eventually you will find what you're looking for. Well, I never got anything for me until I put in a, a clemency petition. My third one. The first two were done professionally. Uh, the third one I did by myself, and uh, it went to President Obama. And luckily for me, he, he granted it. For me, I learned most of what I needed to know by observing others and making mistakes. I made mistakes, and uh, I learned from them. The most important advice, I think, is to keep your mouth shut and your eyes open.